Hey, what's going on, people? Crypto Cathy here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Okay, cool. Today, I'm going to be telling you about some really, really, really cool altcoin gems that um, you should really hold already. And these are all metaverse gems that you should really hold in your portfolio. But I thought that I'd just give them honourable mentions in this video. Um, as you guys will probably have heard me speak about some of them. Some of them I've covered in videos already, like Kaleo. I covered it when it was on pre-sale and things like that. But I'm going to just run through some um, Metaverse gems that I really, really love. As we know, Metaverse gems are pumping, pumping, pumping. And they're here to stay super duper futuristic. Um, I think Facebook let the world know about that when they changed the name to Meta. But um, yeah, um, let's, just, let's just jump into it. Okay, guys, before I go any further, just to let you know, I am not a financial advisor. I am a crypto lover, so anything I tell you, please do your own research. You can also join my Patreon group where you find out about things first. You can join my Telegram group. Um, you can drop me a message on Twitter, on YouTube, anywhere really. We can talk crypto whenever, really. Just drop me a message. I'm trying to get a lot better at messaging people, but I live a ridiculously busy life sometimes. Um, I say that, but I mean, <laughs> do I? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, cool. I'm going to go jump straight into it. Okay. First, my first gem I really, really love is D-Race. D-Race is one that um has been around for a while now, but it's such, such a cool, cool concept. And that is probably why reason why it's done super duper well. Basically, it's a play-to-earn NFT racing metaverse where basically people can participate in horse races. They can breed the horse, like the NFT horses, give them like special characteristics which are unique and then when you build your own nft you can make profit while doing it so it's kind of like got a lot of things in place it's got the whole nft it's got the whole building a characteristic of the horse because you want to win and it's got the whole play to earn but then it's got like the whole metaverse world of participating in a horse racing it's a really, really cool gem, and it's one that I think is super duper cool. It's moved, it's definitely done super duper well already, but it's one that I think it's for this ball run 2.0, we like to call it. I still think it's got legs to do more. <laughs> um, this one's currently listed on Gate.io, Pancake Swap, Uni Swap, so you can get it in so many different places. They have a really, really great community. I leave links to everything so you can jump on their Telegram, jump on their Twitter, jump on their Medium and all that good stuff. But this one is a super duper great one because Play to Earn is something that's done super duper well. We've seen it with with loads of gaming gems like Axie, Splinter Lens and all that kind of stuff. So we know Play to Earn works and the whole metaverse as well is something that has just caught fire and is going to continue to have so much buzz and continue to go up and up and up and up and it's something that a lot of people are talking about so this d race one is super 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 cool futuristic horse racing pick your own characteristics and all that kind of stuff so it's a run that i really really like okay moving on to the next one and that's UFO Gaming. I've probably spoken about this somewhere along the lines because this one I've known about for ages and I love this one. I've never covered it on a video. I think I just forgot, to be honest. It happens. Um, but this is a really, really, really cool one. Welcome to the dark metaverse. The truth is out there. I love it. I love when things have concepts and stuff. I don't know if you guys are really into, like, whole, like, UFO space, aliens and all that stuff. But a lot of people are and it's really, really interesting. I used to watch videos back in the days about, like, um, do aliens exist and all that kind of stuff and parallel universe and all that stuff so I don't know what you guys thoughts are on it but yeah let's go back to UFO gaming basically the dark metaverse um, will serve as a virtual universe built with a closed loop economy so games get added to the economy the value of the token and the ecosystem increases and all that good stuff so this one is a wicked wicked gem it's kind of like a closed loop ever expanding ecosystem and it, kiss, it consists of P2 um, e-games with breedable in-game NFTs and the fact that it's got the whole virtual land in place, the whole collectors into the game revenue, it's got in place the whole NFTs, the whole game, the whole metaverse, the fact you're in a whole different land, a whole different world, the whole UFO um, um, mothership game and launch pad is super, super, super exciting, okay? So you earn with Metaverse virtual land. And that's what, you know, in a second, we'll talk a bit more about virtual land. We'll talk about Manus, um, we'll talk about Mana Decentral Land, and we'll talk about Sandbox and all that kind of stuff, because they definitely deserve honourable dimensions in a second. Okay. So yeah, this is one that is definitely, definitely really, really cool. It's dedicated to the supply of land and is available to be minted. So they've got all this UFO. Um, UFO game has got so many great things in place. And although it's done super duper well already, it's definitely one that you should have in your portfolio anyway. So if you don't have your in your portfolio, this is another one that needs an honourable mention. 
the first game in the UFO metaverse, um, RPG, and it's going to be style game where you can use UFO to mint characters and complete quests madness oh my gosh exciting madness the whole nft marketplace the games and nfts this is definitely 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 one that you guys need to have in your portfolio i'll leave all the links for this one so you guys can check it out read a lot more about it and find out extra information about it but the whole concept of the whole ufo game in the dark metaverse limited to the chain multi-chain the games are going to have the nfts are going to have everything the p2p game the one game one planet it's just wicked i love it i love it i love it so that got honorable mention let's move on to mobox it's another one that i really really like so mobox the whole moment is a cross-platform metaverse that can be enjoyed on all devices so no matter where you are in the world I feel like no matter where you are in the world, you can just live. It's, it's kind of crazy, like, what technology has done for our lives. Like, going, <laughs> not to like, digress off topic, I was, like, thinking, like, the generation we live in now, we're so, like, futuristic. Like, internet has been a thing since I was young. Um, People have always had mobile phones. People have always been big on social media. People are all in the whole digital money now and cryptocurrency and now metaverse and NFTs and all this kind of stuff. It's kind of crazy, like to think how what was the world like 100 years ago imagine like it's just, imagine what it's gonna be like in 100 years time it's just crazy but yeah let's go back onto this gem so mobox i really really like i like the whole cross platform so it's metaverse that can be enjoyed on all devices as we just mentioned so it's whether it's creating content or enjoying others creations the whole moments rewards players so you get rewarded for creating content being innovative and also enjoying other creations of other creators so developers creators um they get rewarded for the engagement and the enjoyment and i really like that it's so cool the whole momo avatar they've got the nfts basically you dive into the momoverse which is um with your first nft momo avatars is where you and the momoverse you can get like avatars in really really unique ones and you get rewarded by like being a creator and by um appreciating other creators and giving engagement and enjoying it so it's really 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 fun concept um but this is really really great one i'll leave the link for this there's so much to read about mobox and i've kind of just touched the tip of the iceberg for this one so definitely 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 guys when you have time get on to the links and definitely have a look um kaleo is going to get honorable mention because i love kaleo i'm not going to talk about kaleo too long because if you want to find out more about kaleo i did a video on kaleo when it was in pre so and it hadn't even launched yet so people um that follow the channel will know that i love 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 kaleo it is great it's so futuristic you build the future of digital and virtual worlds basically it unlocks the whole full potential of metaverse experiences so it brings winning combination of nft and vr technologies to the real world in use cases i love it love it love it okay i love this whole futuristic i love vr as well i don't know if you guys are into the whole virtual reality but i love it years ago i got to this really really cool thing with um google where i got to test like some of the virtual reality um, i'm probably not even explaining it i had to wear these um i had to wear this device and i kind of like walked into like another world it's kind of really hard to explain i'm not doing it any justice but it was a really really amazing experience it was a couple of years ago now actually this was well before i even knew what cryptocurrency was or metaverse or anything like that but um yeah it, it, i love kaleo because i love that it's virtual reality i love that it's whole i love the whole nft side to it but i love the whole um virtual reality side to it and the whole metaverse side to it is basically a metaverse journey into like the future it's crazy 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 with the ecosystem and they offer cost effective and easy marketplace powered by a combination of avalanche blockchain technology really 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 outstanding vr capabilities so definitely guys when you have a chance look at um the marketplace i have look about the, look at the virtual world they're talking about look at all their virtual reality and you will love 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 it it's so much i feel like there's so much to talk about on um kaleo that even in gallery vr like definitely 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 developing a unique way to experience nfts it's so 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 beautiful such a great gem guys um this one's listed on gate.io and many other places so you can definitely get this one okay also going to give honorable mentions to decentraland manor i've held manor for a very 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 long time 
um, ages ago. I even forgot I had it. And then when it was just like, when people talk about it again, I was like, oh my gosh, Decentraland. Um, the whole um, buying land, virtual land is something that is exceptional. It's something that is going to be such a big deal in the future, guys. So if you are knowing about buying about virtual land now, we are super duper early in the game. Remember that. So it's kind of like creating, exploring and trading um, virtual world owned by users. So you can own land and you can trade it. Um, so it's basically on the virtual world, you're virtually owning land and you can trade it with other people. It is literally so futuristic where you're exploring land um, owned by users to experience incredible scenes and structures, space adventures, just all of that kind of stuff. You're kind of like losing yourself in this whole new world, evolving world, futuristic world. And that's why I feel like um, Mana had to get an honourable mention. We are, Everyone knows about Mana in Decentraland anyway. It's moved so much and it's definitely a great gem. We should hold in our portfolio. The same goes to Sandbox. Also gets another honourable mention. Loving the whole virtual land. Um, loving the whole buying land, selling land, trading land is very, very, very futuristic. So this is another one that I think definitely, definitely can hold in your portfolio. Play, create, own, govern virtual metaverse made by players. It's just super duper duper cool. So the central land and um sandbox are definitely ones that you should hold in your portfolio anyways. But I thought they'll just get an honourable mention because I can't just not mention them. I don't, like they might as well get the honourable mention because they are really, really great gems to hold. There's so many other ones. Um my next video I'm gonna be talking about um metaverse gems that haven't even come out yet so we'll be talking about ones that haven't been listed yet but you need to keep your eye on this get on the radar get on their twitter get on the discord get on their telegram and be ready because they're going to drop very very soon so that'll be my next video i'll be talking about future metaverse gems that haven't come out yet but they're going to be coming out very very soon guys i hope this video was useful it's been great speaking to all of you guys um it's sunday basically so i'm just going to go and, and try and chill gonna go and get some pastries gonna go and have some coffee and all that good stuff i'll catch you guys soon with the um, future metaverse gems okay guys have a great day bye